Haynes one is certainly um, robust, shall we say. Um, 137 grand. <laughs> 137 grand. This is the sort of sumo bridge, as it were. Um, but nonetheless, very interesting. Hmm? This probably wasn't necessary, this up parabola. Okay, no, I think you're absolutely right, because all it's going to do is to, to bend even more so. So there's a little bit of weight that you could have saved there. You're putting the bricks on top, are yeah. you? Yeah. Mm. So you've got this arch shape here, that, that its feet would start to want to pull out. It's restrained because there's a tie from there across to its, its no. diagonally opposite one, isn't it? No, it's no? tied here. Like, it's, it's pre-stressed along here, I and then it's see. tied together. Oh, I see. So in other words, those two feet are being held from those two feet, so it really is quite symmetrical. Okay, got you. Now, my concern is that, you see, again, these cross members could have been, could have been in, thread. in thread, which would have weighed an awful lot less, and indeed with these as well. But with um, it would have been more flexible, you're quite right, more. Because that would have, like, it m was moving around, you know, it wouldn't... Yes. Want to see well, as we said before, you see, I mean, the name of the game is to try and use as much tensile, mm -hmm. uh, as many tensile members as possible, but as you do, you get more and more of a flexible... Sh we've seen some pretty flexible structures so far. <laughs> so this ought to, by theory then, to take that theory a bit further, this should stay stalwartly stiff for some time. We shall see. Where do you think it's going to break? Uh, just, you know, along here, somewhere around here. Uh, I don't even know. Members? Mm. It depends, you see. I mean, this is quite a hefty, built-up member, this one and that one. See, when I cross burst it before, it was really unstable, so the book just slid off. I see. So, maybe it won't break. No, well, it's, you see, you've got two or three mechanisms going on here. It's sort of what we say in, in, in England, belt and braces, you know. Like the Englishman never trusts a belt to hold his trousers up, so he wears suspenders as well. That's fair enough, because if one fails, you've got the other one. And so if this arch thing is not doing work, and indeed, even, even if it cracks, this member, this horizontal member, front and back, is so hefty, it may well do the job itself. See, the... It, mm, What's that sort of joint there? See, these are pre-stressed as well, like they're tied ah. at either end. So you're going from there, down there, down there, and across there. Interesting. So in other words, it's like pulling itself up by its bootstraps. That's quite clever. I think the, the, the weight penalty, I mean, it's, it's really much more elegant. The weight penalty is because you've got rather a lot of redundant uh, Compressive Would you think that, like there. this probably? Oh yeah, I think you're right in saying could that. Could have done, done it. Those members aren't bend bending slightly, so I guess they're beginning to pull the... But this is where it should go, and if it does, then okay. <laughs> now. You see, even though these are redundant, these things, when they do break, the suddenness of it might provoke it, the bridge to break it elsewhere. Let's, let's see. No, no, no. Don't take any notice of the crowd here. None at all. They're just simply sensationalists. <laughs> Talk about destroy the evidence, Seven. eh? My yeah. word. OK, we're going to have to rely on the cameras to see what went progressively. Yes, indeed, it was progressive. Now, let's see what happened first, followed by what. 
Now everything looks quite stable at the moment, but you can begin to see, because this is the view from above, that it's beginning to tip towards the student. Aha! So now each side of the bridge is actually taking up really sort of strange shapes and also presenting itself sideways to the bricks, so that doesn't help. In other words, uh, the thing wasn't designed to be pressured from the side, but when it starts to tip, it's going on the side. Now, the effective depth in the middle is the greatest uh, mitigator against bending, but look what's happening to that effective depth. As it's flattening, it's getting less and less, it's reaching that string, and all of a sudden, it's no deeper than a piece of balsa wood, and so no wonder it broke. That's a most interesting uh, progressive sec um, series of failures, if you like, leading to total disaster. And of course, it was so heavy that the ratio isn't that impressive, but it's good nonetheless. 72.5 is quite a hefty one.